Hey guys, it's Patman here from TVPatTalk.com. Lately, I've been uh, browsing YouTube and found this uh, video titled um, All TV Pat Connection Problem Solved USA TV Pat 1234. And what this particular um, video does is just tells you to um, buy their router on eBay. And let me tell you, this is not necessary whatsoever. And what I'm going to do in this video is just tell, give you a cheaper and easier way to get your TV pad up and working. All right, so let's load up the web page tvpaddns.com. <clears throat> now, once the page loads, it should give you the um, general information of uh, how this service works and what it is and what you need to do. Now, um, for the purpose of this video, I'll just show you how to, the step-by-step -step on how to uh, order and get your service activated. So I'm just going to scroll down to the bottom. There should be two buttons. One is the single use and one is the reseller use. If you want to know the difference between the two, just uh, read the paragraph above. It explains what it is and what you can do with it. So let's go single use <clears throat> and uh, the shopping cart should come up. Now, if you have done this before or and try to add a product to the cart, there might be one or more. So in my case, I'll just remove one of them. And if you scroll down, you see the uh, new customer information form. Now, just fill in whatever, whatever, whatever. And once you're done, just click on the... I agree to the terms of service and then just check out or complete order. Now, um, one reminder is um, you need to have a PayPal account for this uh, service. If you don't, you can always use your credit card to pay with PayPal. Just not pay. You just can't pay with a uh, credit card itself. And the reason for this is it's just easier if you want to get a refund. So, and one reminder is um, this uh, five digit support pin number. You can just type in any five random digits. This is just for the, um, for the, for this company to uh, give you, give you a verification number just to verify yourself when you, when you need their support. All right, so let's get to the next part of this video. All right, so we have su successfully placed the order. Now, um, let's see what the next step is here. All right, so we're logged into their billing system. Now, what you need to do is uh, click on services and my services, or you can just click on the active services here. And you should see the DNS serv service you just ordered. And what you want to do is click on view details. Now, don't click on the drop down here. It, it won't give you the, the information. So you need to click on the view details. Now, once the next page loads, it'll give you all the um, information of, of, your, um, of your service. Now, it'll give you the uh, DNS server address. There's right now this three. Now, and your current external IP address. Now, since we're already um, authorized, okay, so before I go into further details, so in order to use your DNS service, you need to authorize your um, IP address, your external IP address to use of the service or it won't work. Now, I've already gone through this, so it already has the authorized um, IP here under um, the following IP here and what you want to do in this case to authorize it again or reauthorize in in in, in this case is uh, click on management actions and click on the first option which is authorize my current IP to use for the service and just click on that and you should see a action completed successfully now the IP, your external IP listed here should match 
the next line, which is which states the following IP address we authorize. So these two IP addresses should match. And if doesn't, um, contact support, maybe you're you're um, you're using another network. So another network, as in uh, you're connected to another person's Wi-Fi, etc. Um, that's basically it. Now to check if your um your IPS can authorized successfully, right? So what you need to do is take one of the uh, DNS servers listed on this page and go to another browser and uh, just type it in and then hit enter. And if you're successfully authorized, you should get a message that says um your IP is authorized. And that's it on this end. Now what you need to do is um, go on your TV pad and update the DNS information. So what you need to do is uh, copy one of these, uh, not copy, but use one of the listed DNS servers and insert it into the DNS field. And I'll show you in the next video.